Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Earn the Bookquester. So today, I'm going to introduce you to this awesome Korean mythological book, Dragon Pearl. Rick Riordan presents Yoon Ha Lee. Great book. Do you know what this wallpaper is, guys? This is a Korean traditional house, originally called Hanul. And it's it's great. I mean, I'm in a good Korean hotel right now. And, well, when I looked at this, well, I did promise you that I need to do a Dragon Pro review. So here it is. The main character is a Gumiho, a, a shape-shifting fox. Normal, Gumiho, normal Gumihos, the ancient powerful Gumihos, had nine tails. But now, Min has only one tail, but she still has the ability to charm, which is manipulating human emotions and to shape shift into most most things. Most things. She can't change into a spaceship, okay? I mean that that's just a rule, okay? It kinda sucks though. And well, Rick Riordan himself re reviewed that it was like Star Wars and Korean mythology combined, only it's better. And Rick Riordan said it's like unlike all the other fantasy books that the other other Rick Riordan presents writers wrote, like Arusha and the End of Time or Storm Runner or and so on. And well, she said that th she said that this is very unique. And the characters are obviously Min. Min is a gumiho, and she finds out that her brother June, who who is in the space forces that protect the thousand worlds. June has deserted. A an investigator came to his own back, her own backwater planet named Jinju. And there, and there, she, Jin, the, the investigator said that her brother had deserted to find the fabled Dragon Pearl which has the ability to transform planets, terraform planets, into to make, like, planets that doesn't have anything on it, into beautiful forests and meadows, and, well, but it also has the power to destroy planets. To make a be once beautiful planet into a, a nothingless, desert or something like that. It'll be devastating. And someone, someone named Captain Juan wants the Dragon Pearl for those purposes. Meanwhile, Min goes undercover in the Space Forces using various transportations. There, she, he disguises herself as Jang, a, a dead cadet who, who, who was fighting the mercenaries that, that well, aborted Min's ship and and died and became a ghost. So Min decided to imitate Jang, and Jang agreed, only to say that Min had to find out more about what what caused his death. Then the dragon, and then he made she made two friends that were Jang's friends, but they soon became real friends, who were Hanyu, a female dragon. So a Korean dragon isn't a fire-breathing, breezing lizard. It's a very honorable creature, the the steed of the gods. It's a long. It resembles a long snake with with the okay with the horns of a deer and horns of a deer. And it has four legs and is long body, and it, it's it's its scales are made out of jade, and it has the power, legendary power, to control the weather. And well, Hanyul can do that. She's a female dragon. She's she goes to the space forces cat. She's a space forces cadet, and she becomes Min's friend. And Sujin. He is a non-binary dokebi. A dokebi is what you would call a, a goblin, but it is a Korean goblin, so it's a bit different. 
a goblin has the power to change things. Perhaps change this pen into food. She can control food and that kind of magic, you know? And you can tell there is... He has a horn. He has a horn. Okay, bees have horns, okay? And so, well, those were the characters. And then, so, she makes, she makes those friends. And later on, she, she treachery, and she, she grabs some of the prisoners, the mercenaries, that the space forces of the Pale Lightning, that's the ship she's working on, and the ship that June used to work to, and Captain Juan. She is the main, not, Agnetist of this of the book and he is a tiger Yeah, I know I know a lot of animals right tiger in Korea is the greatest predator and one of the most vile creatures there is a Tiger a tiger captain captain Juan. He wants the dragon pearl's power to make it the ultimate weapon to make him seat the king of the universe, the great conqueror. I mean, it's like Thanos, right? I mean, yeah. And and so she wants the ultimate weapon, but Min knows she has to stop him. And she, Captain Huang knows the truth of what happened to June. So she has to find the Dragon Pearl, go to the ghost. And she's in the ghost sector. But in, there, in the fourth colony, there is a place where disease spirits has covered the planet and no person can reach their life. But Min, who has the power of charm to manipulate human and ghost emotions, she managed to go inside the fourth colony. There, she, she finds the dragon pole and Captain Juan comes, but the ghosts attack Captain Juan. And the ghosts include June, who, whom Min found out that June was dead. By Captain Juan's fault, actually. And so, she uses the Dragon Pearl to banish all the ghosts into the underworld and makes the fourth colony a rightful two. And then, using the Dragon Pearl's power, she becomes the guardian of the Dragon Pearl. And later on, some people try to take it from her. They, <laughs> let's just say their experience wasn't very pleasant. And June decided that he want, still wanted to explore the thousand worlds. And he wanted to hunt Min. And June, in ghost form, was they would make great partners. And they joined another group that would shield them from the from the Council of Dragons, I think. And and uh, uh, the Dragon Society and the Space Forces Wrath. Because, you know... He did all, she did a lot of bad things. And the dragons, you know, they kind of want their dragon pearls, so yeah. And she goes back to her planet, meets, meets back with her mother, and they tell the story of what happened in this book. Great story, great Korean mythology. Star Wars plus Korean mythology, great book, sci-fi and fantasy, and like always, your book cluster and the book cluster. Great book, guys. Great as heck and hell combined.